the nation's Mississippi River Delta. Dynamic. Alive. For 10,000 years, the Mississippi River created its own path. Building land. Changing direction. Supporting a rich ecosystem. And vibrant fisheries. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson purchased Louisiana Territory. The bold young president knew that New Orleans was the portal to the river. That the river controlled inland commerce and that America's future depended on it. Today, Jefferson's vision has been realized. New Orleans is one of the busiest ports in the world. The Delta is the fertile ground that supports a wide range of businesses, communities, and a unique cultural heritage. So, what's the problem? The men who brought this vision to reality tried to control the river in a way that is destroying the Delta and threatening this important ecological and economic driver. Under this antique system, the government artificially managed the river by building extensive levees for the primary purpose of ensuring navigation and protecting against floods. That worked for a while. But cutting the river off from the wetlands created many new problems. The Delta's natural systems are dying. They are literally being starved of water and nutrients. We've stopped the land building that rivers naturally do. And the massive oil and gas development since the 1930s has made things worse. Today, coastal Louisiana is on the brink of collapse. Eroding shorelines. Sinking land. Fisheries in decline. Greater vulnerability to hurricanes and oil spills. A complex ecosystem is under attack. With each new disaster compounding the last. Even navigation and flood control systems are now threatened. To solve these problems, we need a bold new vision. One that allows society to get what it needs from the river and allows the wetlands to get what they need to survive. Instead of trying to manage the river, we need to learn to build with the river, letting its powerful flow naturally replenish the wetlands. To support a healthy Gulf Coast and create the conditions for a sustainable navigation system and powerful economy. Environmental Defense Fund has taken a leadership role in forming a broad coalition of national and local environmental groups to implement this bold new vision. We are the catalyst for a major societal change that will benefit not just the wetlands, but the entire Gulf region, and indeed Jefferson's America, that depends on a healthy delta. Changing society isn't easy, but we can succeed by creating four fundamental building blocks. First, we need a new comprehensive plan that can restore the wetlands and meet the needs of local communities and businesses. We are bringing science and economic resources to convergent planning processes, a new coastal master plan for the state of Louisiana, and new federal plans by the Gulf Coast Ecosystem Restoration Task Force. Second, we need funding. Environmental Defense Fund's policy team is working hard to establish a new dedicated funding stream that will provide the financial resources needed to implement the new plan. Third, we need new governing systems that allow the river to replenish itself while also meeting the needs of society. We are working to integrate authority for implementing the plan at the local, state, and federal levels. Fourth, we need new business models and transition tools to help communities adjust to the new plan. We are studying the job benefits of coastal restoration and engaging businesses on how we can work together. Together, these four steps can establish a new model for working with threatened deltas around the world. There's a reason the Mississippi River is called Big Muddy. It continually transports and deposits liquid land. That's what it wants to do. That's what it needs to do. But the current plan stops it from doing that. By reconnecting the sediment within the river back to the delta where it belongs, we can build land, provide for navigation and commerce, and achieve our vision. Please visit our website to find out how you can help support EDF's vision to restore the Mississippi River Delta.